I am Madhul Kumar sharing with you trigonometric identities which I can consider as level 2. So let me write here level 2. These are good for students who are doing pre-calculus. We need to prove sin square x plus 2 cos x minus 1 divided by sin square x plus 3 cos x minus 3 equals to cos square x plus cos x divided by minus sin square x. You can always pause the video, copy the question, prove the identity, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin from the left side. Let's copy the question. It is sine square x plus 2 cos x minus 1 divided by sine square x plus 3 cos x minus 3. Now we can always write 1 as combination of sine square x plus cos square x. So, so I'll replace 1 with combination of sine square x plus cos square x. So we get sine square x plus 2 cos x minus sine square x plus cos square x. Correct? In the numerator. In the denominator, I can take this 3 common. And I can also write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. So I'm writing sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. And here I'm taking 3 common. So we get cos x minus 1. Now in the numerator, sine square x minus sine square x is 0. So what I get is 2 cos x minus cos square x divided by 1 minus cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x, correct? And the other term which we have is 3 times cos x minus 1. <clears throat> now, in the numerator, I can take cos x as common. So we get cos x 2 minus cos x. Here, we can take 1 minus cos x as common, or you can say cos x minus 1 as common. So let's take 1 minus cos x common. 1 minus cos x common. So we are left with, let me use square brackets. 1 plus cos x from first term and since we took 1 minus here we have cos x minus 1 we'll get minus 3 does it make sense to you right now we could write numerator as cos x times 2 minus cos x and in the denominator what we get is 1 minus cos x times 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So we get cos x minus 2. Now these can cancel with the negative sign, right? So what you get here is minus cos x over 1 minus cos x. You really want to show that this is equal to the right side, which is cos square x plus cos x divided by minus sin square x. How do I get sin square x? Well, let's rationalize it. Rationalize really means that, let me do it here. So we could actually copy this expression as such. Let me write minus outside since this minus is there. And what we have here is cos x over 1 minus cos x. We can multiply and divide by its conjugate, which is 1 plus cos x. So in the denominator, we get difference of squares, which is 1 minus cos square x. Here we have negative sign. Let me keep this negative sign. And the numerator, I can multiply these. So I get cos x plus cos square x. Is that okay? 1 minus cos square x is sine square x. So, and the, the top numerator is cos square x plus cos x. Let me write rearrange since they are commutative 
and I'm taking the sign in the denominator writing 1 minus cos square x as sine square x we get minus sine square x right so we started with left hand side and what we have got is the right hand side correct so which is equal to the right side so that is how you're going to prove this identity now in this identity we have used a couple of strategies one is we have written sine square x plus cos square x for 1, right? And we have also written, rationalized, and seen that if I have a minus b times a plus b, what you get is a square minus b square, right? right? When we rationalize. So these are the two identities or equations which we have used in our proof for the given trigonometric identity. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. It's kind of tricky. I'd like you to actually pause the video, go through these steps once again, understand, and then I hope it will help for your own test. Thanks for watching. And if you feel like you can always share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you and all the best.